Welcome to the Live and Flow channel. I'm Taylor Ray, and today's practice is a yoga flow with a lot of twisting in it. So twists are really great for energizing the body and helping to release tension around in the muscles around the spine. So it's gonna just wring everything out and you'll leave feeling awesome. So let's get started. So many places left to go So many ways that I could roam But right here, right now is all I know We're just feeding my soul When live on and flow all way All right, so let's go ahead and start down on our backs. We'll take it all the way down here and plant your feet flat as wide as the mat, allowing your knees to drop in towards each other. Arms down by your sides, palms face the sky. So just starting out right here for the first five breaths. You can close your eyes. Just allowing the back to become softer and heavier against the mat. As you start to slow the breath, connect to the breath, really just feeling yourself, your body arrive onto your mat for your practice. So let's go ahead and take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Big sigh out the mouth, exhale. Taking that one more time, nice deep breath in. And let it go. So as you just remain connected to your breath throughout the practice. So from here, let's go ahead and extend the arms out wide into a T where your hands line up right to your shoulders. You're gonna keep your feet as wide as the mat as you gently start to drop both knees over to the left side. And then we're gonna stay right here as we cross the left foot on top of the right thigh. So arms stay nice and wide and really just allowing the weight of the left foot to gently guide the right knee down. So staying right here for about two to three breaths. Taking one more inhale. And exhale out. Slowly release, back to center, feet come back as wide as the mat. As we switch sides, drop the knees to the right side. Right foot this time crosses over the left thigh. So same thing, you're just really allowing the weight of the right foot to pull, to gently pull the left knee lower. Couple breaths here. And one more inhale and exhale nice and slow inhaling back to center this time hug your knees into your chest one hand to each knee you can sway a little bit side to side just allow the lower back to start to open so right away we're gonna to start to activate our centers our core you're gonna keep your knees into your chest really engage the toes towards the face Arms out this time, palms are flat, arms in or hands in line with the shoulders. Low belly pulls down here as you take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, we're gonna lower but hover the knees over to the left side. So keep hovering and inhale through center with control. And exhale, right side, hover, lower, pause. Inhale back to center. Keep that going on your exhale, left side. Inhaling center. Exhale, right side. Inhale center, we're going one more side. This time we're gonna pause at the bottom a little bit longer. So keep lowering left side, hovering right above the ground. Belly pulls in, take one more breath. 
and inhale back to center, last one. Right side, knees hover, keep going, right above the ground, pause. And slowly back to center. So from here, knees hug nice and deep. Bring your hands behind your knees. A couple times, start to rock forward, rock back. Rock all the way up to a seat here, simple cross leg position. So right away on your inhale, sweep the arms high. On the exhale, right hand comes to the left knee. Left arm comes behind you, maybe on the fingertips. So bring it closer to your left hip versus the middle of your back. So right near the left hip, sit up nice and tall. And then on your exhale, you'll start to twist, gaze back over the left shoulder. So inhale, sit up a little bit taller. And exhale. One more time, inhale, find length. Exhale, twist. Good, inhale back to center, arms sweep. As we switch, left hand to the right knee. Right arm behind you on the fingertips if that's comfortable. Sit up tall first, inhale. And exhale, gaze over the right shoulder. One more time, inhale, find length. And exhale. Slowly back to center. We're gonna shift all the way through here now onto all fours, tabletop position. So really press the tops of your feet down, spread the fingers nice and even. Right away, taking some cat cows, inhale, belly drops, heart forward, gaze forward and up. And exhale, round the spine, tuck your chin to chest, press the floor away. Inhale, takes you forward. And exhale, rounds. Going one more time, inhaling. And exhale. Coming right back to center, all fours. We'll start to circle the hips around. Let's go two really big circles, one direction. Just allowing the shoulders and hips to open up. And we'll switch. Go one more big circle. And then from here, toes tuck under, downward facing dog, hips lift. So let's start out the first five breaths, downward facing dog, find some gentle movement, pedal the feet out, right and left here. You can sway the head, sway the hips a couple times. And guiding both heels right down to the mat. Next, inhale, both heels lift high. And then exhale, right back down. One more time, inhale, rise. And exhale, release. Next, inhale, slowly rolling forward, high plank. Shoulders over the wrists, option, knees can be down. Taking a deep breath in here. And exhale, take it all the way to the belly. Hands stand under the shoulders. Inhale, rising high cobra. So really pull the shoulders together on the back, gaze straight ahead. Take a slight bend in the elbows, nice micro bend, take an inhale. And exhale down. One more time, inhale, rise high cobra. Downward facing dog, exhale. From here, feet come out as wide as the mat. Lift your heels really high. Gaze between your hands. Take little control, tiny steps. Low belly pulls in as you walk all the way to the top. Wide leg folds. Just allow your arms to dangle. Take a slight bend in the knees. Head hangs heavy, taking one more deep breath here. And nice and slow, inhale, lift halfway up. Crawling both hands outside of the right foot, come onto your fingertips. One time, lift halfway, inhale. Fold over the right leg, exhale. Crawl through center, switch, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Coming right back to center, lift halfway up. This time, hands come behind the back, making a bind and then fold all the way back down. A 
couple times, sway the head side to side. And then start to sway your fist side to side, bring some movement into the shoulders. Come back to center, take one more inhale. And exhale, release. Start to heel toe your feet in, big toes touch. Inhale, lift halfway up, long spine, shoulders down the back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, brings you all the way to stand. Sweep the arms, palms touch, hands to heart, and down by your sides. So finding mountain pose, Tadasana, big toes are touching, heels slightly apart, gaze is straight ahead, low belly lifts. Just take a moment here to ground yourself, to feel your feet root. Let's take one deep breath through the nose. Big sigh out. From here, inhale, sweep your arms, palms touch. Forward fold, exhale, right down. Inhale, lift halfway up, long spine. Fold right back down, exhale. Sit your hips nice and deep, fierce pose. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Sit nice and low in the hips like you're sitting back into a chair. Pinky spiral in, take an inhale here. And exhale, left arm sweeps to the back wall, gaze follows. Inhale, center. Exhale, right arm sweeps. Inhale, back to center, palms touch. And exhale, fold two straight legs. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, step into a high plank. Pull the belly in as you shift forward. Inhale first. And exhale, lower to the belly. Tops of the feet press. High cobra, inhale, rise. Downward facing dog. Stay right here for a few breaths. So you're completely relaxed. Gaze is towards your inner thighs, maybe the back edge of your yoga mat. Hips lift, low belly lifts. Let's stay for one more breath. Inhale, both heels rise. Gaze forward as you bend your knees really deep. And then exhale, step, top of the mat. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway in the spine. And exhale, fold right down. Sit the hips, inhale, fierce pose, sweep the arms forward. On your exhale, right arm sweeps back, gaze follows the right hand. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, left arm. Inhale, center, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, two straight legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, down to the belly. One time, high cobra, inhale, rise. Downward facing dog, exhale. Stay right here for two deep breaths. Taking one more. Next, inhale, right leg rises. Start to open the right knee, ground the left heel down, bend that right knee nice and deep, and then really engage those right toes. And then start to drop the right shoulder down to the mat. Stay right here, one more breath. And slowly step the foot all the way through between the hands. Back knee drops down. Top of the back foot is down, inhale, rise, sweep the arms. On your exhale, we're gonna shift the hips back for a half split. So coming onto the front heel, toes towards the face here. So really pull the right hip back. Inhale, halfway in the chest. And exhale, fold over the right leg, head is heavy. 
one more time. Inhale up and exhale. Slowly start to bend back into the right knee. We're gonna lift the back knee up. Bump your right foot just a little to the right side to set up a solid base here with the feet. And then slowly start to rise, crescent warrior. So a couple times, just kind of find a little movement here to start to open the hips as we settle in. So focusing on the back leg, pull the back thigh up, press the back heel forward, gaze is straight ahead, shoulders soft, and then the low belly pulls in. Stay right here for one more breath. And then from here, right arm forward, left arm reaches to the back, finding a twist. So really pull the back thigh up, strong in the arms. Take one more breath. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm opens to the sky. So gaze is towards that top right hand. Keep extending the back thigh up. Take an inhale right here. And exhale, back knee drops right back down. Top of the foot's down. Inhale, rise. So this time we're gonna let the hips really sink forward as we find another twist. Left hand to the right knee. You're gonna use the left hand to pull your right knee towards the center as the right arm reaches back. So finding leverage here, keep pulling the right knee towards center as you lean your chest back, gaze over your back hand. Let's go one more deep breath. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, plank. Take an inhale. And exhale to the belly. Inhale, high cobra. Downward facing dog, hips lift. Stay right here for two deep breaths before we switch sides. Next, inhale, left leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip, allow your right heel to be heavy. And then start to drop the left shoulder down. Keep extending the top knee up, take one more breath in. And exhale, foot steps through. Back knee down, top of the back foot is down. Inhale, rise, arms sweep high. On your exhale, shifting the hips back for half splits, come on to the front heel, toes towards the face. Half lift, inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold over the front leg. One more time, inhale up. And exhale. Slowly bend into the front knee, back knee lift, set up your base, bump your left foot just a little left for a solid base, and then slowly rise here, crescent warrior. So same thing, just kind of find a little movement, ease the hips open, and then we'll start to settle in. So focus on the back leg, pull the back thigh up, and press the back heel forward, super strong and active in that back leg. Gaze is straight ahead, pinky spiral in, take a deep breath. And then from here, right arm forward, left arm reaches back for a twist. So the back thigh is lifting, lean the chest back, take a deep breath. And exhale, right hand down, left arm to the sky. Front knee keeps guiding towards the center of your body, take an inhale here. And exhale, back knee down. Top of the back foot down. Inhale, brings you up. So one more twist here. Right hand to the left knee. You're gonna use the right hand to pull the left knee towards the center of your body as you start to extend the left arm back. So same thing, lean the chest back, gaze moves back, take a deep breath here. And inhale, back to center, sweep the arms. Exhale, down. Step back, high plank, inhale. Exhale to the belly. Inhale, high cobra. Downward facing dog. Two breaths here. 
Again, just reconnecting right back to your breath before we start moving. So we're gonna start to go one more round. We're gonna take it one breath per movement, creating a nice little flow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, foot steps through. Back knee stays lifted. Inhale, crescent warrior. And then exhale, left arm forward, right arm reaches back, find a twist. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm to the sky. Inhale, lean your chest back. Exhale, back knee down. Top of the foot's down. Inhale, rise first with the arms. Exhale, left hand to the front knee, right arm reaches behind you. Take an inhale here. And slow, arms sweep high. Exhale, hands down. Step plank, inhale first. Exhale, lower. High cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take one deep breath in. Big side. Left leg, inhale. Foot steps through. Stay high on the back knee. Inhale, crescent warrior. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Find a twist. Take an inhale first. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, gaze moves up, lean back. And exhale, knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms. Right hand to the front knee, left arm reaches back, lean the chest back, take an inhale, and exhale. Inhale to center, sweep the arms. Hands come down, step back, plank, inhale here, and exhale down. High cobra, inhale, and a child's pose, exhale. So your knees are nice and wide. Big toes touch. So we stay right here for five breaths. Just slowing the breath down, forehead is soft against the mat. Noticing what you're feeling. Noticing the heart rate, the heat in the body. As we take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Big audible sigh, exhale out. Two more breaths right here. Nice and slow. We're gonna to start to shift forward onto all fours. So back to all fours here, tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. On your inhale, right arm's gonna to open to the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna thread the right arm underneath the left. So the right shoulder drops down. And then we're gonna to start to crawl the left arm up overhead. So come on to the fingertips in the left hand. As you really start to twist your torso, your chest, underneath the left straight arm, press the tops of the feet down firm, taking a couple breaths here. Gaze moves to, towards the sky, take one more breath. And slow, back to center. Right arm opens one more time, and exhale down. As we switch sides, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Left shoulder drops to the mat. Right arm crawls towards the center of your mat. Come on to the fingertips. So the right arm is nice and straight as you're twisting your torso underneath a straight right arm. Gaze moves up, take an inhale here. One more breath. 
slowly back to center. Inhale, left arm one more time to the sky, and exhale down. Toes tuck under, hips lift, downward facing dog. From here, start to crawl your hands all the way back to meet your feet. Go ahead and measure your feet out two fists distance apart. Your first two fingers, peace fingers, wrap around the big toe. So take a slight bend in the knees here. Inhale, lengthen the chest. And then exhale, fold, melt your chest over your thighs. So the elbows come out to the sides and then slightly towards the back. Inhale, lift a little bit. And then exhale a little bit deeper. Head is heavy, maybe shake the head out. Shoulders draw down the back, away from the ears. Hips lift a little bit higher, take two more breaths. Take one more. And release. Nice and slow, start to roll all the way to stand. We're gonna pause right here before we start to move again. Hands to heart and close your eyes. Just feel your feet really ground, root down. So really just taking this moment to reconnect to your breath, to your body. Let's take one deep breath in. Big sigh out. Inhale, sweep the arms, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, take it right back down. From here, we're just gonna crawl it right out, downward facing dog. So we're gonna start to move into our next little flow. Inhale, lift the right leg nice and high. Exhale, footsteps through between the hands. Back heel drops down. So you wanna line your front heel and your back heel. We're moving right into warrior two. Inhale, rise all the way up, bending nice and deep in that front knee. And then the back thigh is super strong and active here. Arms spread out nice and wide. Gaze over the front middle finger. Sink a little bit deeper here, taking one more breath cycle. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, reach up, reverse warrior. Back hand slides on the back leg. And exhale into side angle. So we've got some options here for side angle. Forearm to thigh, left arm is open to the sky, hand stacks over the shoulder. Option two, maybe wrapping your right hand around your right ankle and then pressing your right arm back so it helps to open the knee out to the right side wall. Bend nice and deep here. Gaze moves up. Stay right here, take an inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pulls you all the way up. Right foot turns, so wide legs. Big toes angle in. Heels are just slightly out here. Arms spread out wide. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, hinge at the hips, folding down. Crawl the hands down. Inhale, lift halfway up. And exhale, fold. The crown of the head reaches down here, elbows pulling back and through your legs, taking one more breath. Inhale, lift halfway up. Bring your right hand directly underneath your nose. Come onto the right finger or the fingertips if that's comfortable, maybe palm is flat. And then inhale, left arm opens to the sky, find a twist. So trying to keep your hips level but leaning your chest back here, gaze moves up, take a deep breath in, and release, switch. Left hand down, direct underneath the face. Inhale, right arm opens to the sky, lay the chest back, pull the heart forward, take an inhale, and exhale down. We're gonna start to crawl our hands to the back of the mat, runner's lunge. Setting up our base for crescent warrior. Bump the left foot a little bit left, and then inhale, slowly rise all the way up here. So we're gonna start to move into a twist, a deeper twist, with the option for the back knee to be down. So that's always an option. Let's all start right here at least. So back knees down, keep your toes tucked under on the back foot, 
as you pull your hands to heart. On your inhale, slight lift in the chest. And then exhale, you're gonna to start to hook and twist your right elbow outside the left knee. You can use your left hand to press your left knee towards the center of your body and then hook the right elbow a little bit deeper towards the outside. Palms together, leaning your chest back here. So again, you got the option to stay right here or the back knee starts to lift. Back knee is lifted. Press the top hand down into the bottom hand to twist a little bit deeper, lean the chest back, gaze up over your top shoulder. If your back knee is lifted, keep pulling the thigh up, take a deep breath. And exhale, release, both hands down. Step right back, downward facing dog. Stay right here, let's go one time, inhale through the nose. Big sigh out. So now we're gonna move on to the left side. Inhale, left leg rises. Footsteps through between the hands. Back heel down, warrior two base. And then inhale, slowly rise, warrior two. Arms spread out wide, shoulders down the back. Front knee opening towards the pinky toe side of that front foot. Stay right here, take an inhale. Sink a little deeper, exhale. Inhale, reach up and back, reverse warrior. And exhale, side angle. So again, you've got forearm to thigh is an option. Or hand down to the ankle. And you're really pressing your arm into your leg to tuck the left hip under here. Stack the top hand over the top shoulder, gazes up. Take a deep breath here. Let's go one more. Inhale, rise all the way. Left toes turn, wide legs. Heart lifts, inhale. Exhale, hinge, fold right down. Half lift, inhale, find some length. Exhale, fold right back down. Let's stay right here this time for five breaths. So if you can, you're lining your toes and your fingers. Palms are flat, so like chaturanga arms. Pull the elbows back and through the legs, and then really draw the shoulders down the back. Inner thighs lift. Crown of the head reaches down. One more breath here. Inhale, lift halfway up. Crawl it to the front of your mat now, runner's lunge. Set up your base for crescent warrior, and then slowly rise, crescent warrior. So same thing here, we're gonna just start with the back knee down, slowly lower. Keep the back toes tucked under, hands pull to heart. Inhale, lift the chest first. And then exhale, we're hooking the left elbow outside the right knee. So same thing, you can use your right hand to press your right knee towards the center of your body more, and then hook the left elbow deeper. You've got the option, back knee stays down, or you can start to lift the back knee, keep pulling the back thigh up super active, and you'll start to stack the shoulders as you're leaning the chest back, gaze moves up over the top shoulder. Keep pulling the navel in and up. Take an inhale here. Twist a little deeper, exhale. One more breath cycle. And release. Long step back, downward facing dog. One inhale. And exhale. Slowly shift forward, high plank. Very, very slow and controlled. Take it all the way to your belly. Go ahead and just stack the hands here. Rest the forehead down. Three breaths. Pause. Reconnect. Recenter with your breath and your body. We're 
going to take just one nice little belly back bend here. So staying on the belly, hands are going to come behind the back, make a bind. And then really pull the shoulders together on the back. Exhale all the air out first. And then inhale, rise. Everything lifts, pull your fists back, strong legs. And exhale down. Two more times. Inhale, rise. Fist pulls back, heart lifts. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, rise. Heart lifts. And exhale down. Turn your cheek to one side. Sway the hips. Hands are down by your hips. And release, hands underneath shoulders, pressing through a tabletop. We're gonna swing our legs through to a seat. So I'll go ahead and turn to face you. As we start to cool down now, let's go ahead and find a wide leg position. So toes flex towards the face. Bring your hands behind the hips. Gently scoot the hips forward. Sit up tall, deep breath in. And exhale, crawl your hands down the center. Keep flexing through the toes, pressing through the ball of your foot. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold a little deeper. One more time like that, inhale. And exhale. Head is heavy as we stay here for five breaths. So we're just allowing the body to find some more stillness now. Slowing down, cooling down. Two more breaths here. Last one. And then gently, gently start to rise. So from here, we're gonna connect the left foot to the inner right thigh. Bring your hands behind you. Sit up tall and really turn your whole chest towards the right leg. Maybe a slight bend in the right knee. Inhale, arms sweep high. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, slight twist and then fold back over the right leg. One more time, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, down. So allowing the shoulders to pull away from the ears down the back. Head is heavy here, nose towards the knee. And gently start to rise as we switch sides. Left leg out, right foot comes into the left inner thigh. Hands come behind, sit up tall first, inhale. Arms reach high, and exhale, folds. Inhale, tiny lift. Exhale, a little deeper. One more time, inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Shoulders away from the ears. Nice and slow rise. Awesome. So from here, let's take it all the way onto our backs. Big squeeze, hug the knees in deep to your chest. So we just start to close out with a nice little reclined pigeon. Get into the hips a little bit. So cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Hands interlace behind the left thigh and then allow the left knee to bend. So engaging the feet, flexing through the toes on both feet, that helps to protect your knee. Allow the shoulders to soften flat against the mat. We're gonna stay right here for five breaths. You can find a gentle sway in the hips for the first couple of breaths. Holding in stillness now. Allowing the knees to just gently come deeper into the chest as we stay for one more breath. And 
nice and slow release feet are flat as we just simply switch sides left ankle crosses over the right thigh hands interlace behind the right thighs the right knee bends all the way but flexing through the toes the same thing here first couple breaths you can sway a couple times right and left Holding in the center. Shoulders are soft against the mat. Two more breaths right here. Last one. gently release both knees back into the chest we're finishing with one last pose this time a gentle twist arms out wide to a T as you drop both knees to the right side so from here you can allow the right hand to gently rest on the knee to help gu help guide them a little bit deeper both shoulders are flat so if you need to you're just gonna keep grounding that left shoulder down Take one more breath. And inhale through center. Switching sides, knees go left, exhale. Left hand to the knees just to help guide them gently. And then you might need to shimmy your right shoulder flat. Couple breaths right here. Take one more. Inhale, slow back to center. Last big squeeze. Forehead rises to meet your knees. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, Shavasana. All the way out flat. Final resting pose, most important pose of the practice. So setting your body up physically first. Your feet come out as wide as the mat. Arms down by your sides, palms face the sky. And then a slight tuck under with the shoulders so the heart lifts. Allowing your entire body to just start to melt. Melt heavy against the mat. As we take one more deep inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top, retain the breath. Big sigh out. Fingers are soft, toes are light. Every space relaxes. invite you to stay in your Shavasana for another two to five minutes on your own. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.